play it this week um, and that's probably the last time you'll hear it because I'm going to go on to some new pieces. Um, there's a couple I've got that I've been playing, um, one of which is Skip to My Lou um, and it's pretty basic but actually I'm beginning to realise that you can't run before you can walk and an awful lot of what I've been doing I'm sort of dying to get ahead and, and do something a little bit more uh, complicated and then realising that actually I can't until I've got absolute basics in place. So um, I'm going back um, and, and doing the easy pieces and making sure I can actually play them before I go on because otherwise it's kind of cheating. Um, it's all very well saying, oh, I can play a hard piece, but if you haven't got some of those easier pieces under your belt and can play them properly, what's the point of moving on? And I know it's very, very frustrating. As an adult, you, you, you want to leap ahead. You want to think, oh, well, I can play that. I could probably play anything, but actually, no, you can't. And, and you'll come a cropper because if you haven't got some of those very simple things in place, uh, when you come to do something more complicated, you're going to stumble and you won't play in a fluid way. Um, so, yeah, going back to absolute basics and, and doing that, I think, is probably a very good thing to do. Um, I'm also, um, I am leaving here very slightly because I did want to learn something that I play in Morris. So, um, yesterday I just started looking at Walter Baldwin's and thinking, yeah, <laughs> it's in another league, it's so complicated. So um, that'll be a work in progress and, and you'll get a peep at that maybe in some weeks to come. Um, I suppose what I wanted to get across today is that um, it is this business of, of, of treating yourself like a beginner if you are a beginner. Don't assume that just because you're an adult or you've played something before or you know a bit about music that this is gonna come easily. Uh, it's, it's not the easiest of instruments. Um, some of it you could say it's quite basic. You, you could honestly just play the right hand only and just play the melody. Of course you could and, and not worry about the basses, but then you're not getting the best out of your instrument and it just sounds so much better when you've got your accompaniment going in the bass. So persevere with it. Um, I'm going to give you a little taste of what I've been doing with Skip to Milo. Um, I'm going to have to cut this so it's not quite live unless you want... Now watch me fiddle for my music. I, I actually want to keep this as a truthful vlog, so here we go. Um, and again, totally unrehearsed before I came on. I came on, sounds like I'm on the telly. Um, so totally unrehearsed, here we go. I'm going to put my music glasses back on. Oh, I love old age. Right, so skip to my loo. Um, I've got my music from Daddy Longlegs, as usual. It's nice and uh, easy to follow. Um, and, and it's, it's in big fonts. <laughs> <laughs> which is what I need. Um, I, I spoke to my optician yesterday, I said, how come I need glasses for reading, for the computer and for driving? And he just said, you're getting old. Cheers. Uh, if my optician, uh, Andy, ever watches this, then um, yeah, thanks for that yesterday. That made me feel really good about myself. Anyway, uh, Skip to Malou. Um, it's, it's fairly simple, um, but there's a tricky bar that comes in twice where there's a pull, push, pull. Um, and you'll hear me stumble over it. Um, oh, there it is. I might just play it and play it well. <laughs> Let's go and see what happens. Right, here we go. Starting on B this time. <laughs> I can't do that. This is what you must do. Practice the bar again until you get it right. So just playing that bar. Yeah, now there's the proof. Everything was simple up until that point and then I came unstuck. And here's, this is the truthful vlog. Anyway, we'll go on and uh, we'll play the next bit. Okay.
Okay, <laughs> I got the right hand, but I didn't get the left hand. So this is this is the painful bit, and the bit that people don't show on their blogs of them having to play a bar over and over again. So that last bar. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just go back and we'll do joining up a little bit. So in the first part of it where I'm playing, um, the first time when I come across that piece, I try and join it up. <laughs> so that's what I've got to practice this next week. And it's the simplest of things. It's one bar of music. And isn't it annoying? One bar of music and the whole thing falls down. It doesn't matter how well you play the rest of it, people think, oh, she's really good. Yeah, she's really got the hang of it now. She's doing well, third week in. <laughs> but of course she's not. Um, and weirdly enough, there's another one I've been learning, and I won't even play that one live because I really make a hash of it, and it's Silent Night. Again, it's it, you'd think, oh, gosh, that's really easy, but there's a horrible bit at the end. We're pulling and pushing and changing from... Um, this this low G based up to this one here, the D based, and it all falls apart every time. And and I've practiced and practiced and practiced the same bar, and I still can't get it. So um, it's again, it's the work in progress. Um, but there you go. It's a truthful blog. You can see where I'm falling down. So if you're sticking with it, um, come back next week, and hopefully I've got that one absolutely nailed. Um, and then I'm going to move on, I think after that, I'm, I'm playing um, what I call a complicated piece, where well, it sounds complicated because there's so many ins and outs on it, um, and there's a lot of notes, but it's quite good fun, and it's Speed the Plough. It's kind of, Speed the Plough is kind of, it's just one of those ones that everybody learns when they're learning uh, folk music, squeeze box, whatever, because it is fun, dee 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 dee, um, and it sounds quite good when you get it going, but again, not as easy as it looks, and there's an awful lot of inning and outing, but some of the inning and outing is on the same note, so you can keep the same, oh, sorry, on the same note, on the same button. So when you push and pull on it, you're getting the two notes. So it's quite good fun to play. So that'll be my next project, but not until I've actually mastered that nasty little bit skip to my loo. Um, it's been a funny old week. I, I had a virus this week, and um, oh God, I felt grim. Um, I went to bed sort of eight o'clock every night this week just to try and sleep the thing off. I've never slept like it because I'm a bit of an insomniac, so I was obviously quite poorly. Um, but I made a, a very short movie whilst I was in bed, bored. Um, I could never keep still for long, even when I'm feeling ill. And um, you'll see this at the end of this vlog. Uh, I didn't put it at the beginning because it's a bit silly and a bit boring, but if you want to see a bit of fun, it was my excuses for not practicing very much this week. Every evening I do pick this up and I play for about half an hour. It's probably my limit because things start to ache and hurt a little bit. But just that half an hour every single day actually does make a massive difference. And um, you might think you don't have that sort of time. Even if you were only rehearsed, practised, you know, once or twice a week, you will make progress as long as you stick at it. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week, all being well, and uh, have a lovely week, everyone, and stay well. Thanks very much. Bye.